What's up guys? Another day and another fort. Today we will be exploring Fort Charles in the small island of Port Royal in Jamaica. You might have heard of Port Royal from Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Swashbuckling pirates, Sin City and Chasing Soldiers. That was the typical impression of the town. Well, amidst of all those scenes, today Port Royal is a quiet small town. Through the centuries, there are a couple of forts and one of those is Fort Charles, which survived the ravages of earthquakes. It is well preserved. I walked to the pay booth and paid $5 to get in and explore the site. As the history goes, the first fort to be erected in Port Royal was this fort. It was built in the late 1650-60, to 60, immediately following the British takeover. It is the oldest fort on the island, from the British colonial period and one of the oldest in the New World. It was the only one of Port Royal's forts to survive the 1692 earthquake. Damaged, it was reconstructed in 1699 by Colonel Christian Lilly, chief engineer of Jamaica. Originally, it was named Fort Cromwell after Lord Protector of England, Oliver Cromwell, who was responsible for designing the strategic takeover of the island. The fort was renamed in 1662 when the monarchy was reinstated in England with Charles II as king. As I walk around, I saw teachers and students having their field trip in the fort. It's nice to educate youngsters about the past. Continuing on, the fort underwent several changes between 1656 to 1670. In 1667, the fort had 36 guns, and by 1765, it had 104 guns and a garrison with 500 men. The fort also sank a meter during the earthquake of 1692. There are several buildings to visit in the fort. One of them is Fort Charles Maritime Museum. It exhibits displays of man's relationship to the sea from the time of the Arawaks and traces the development of Jamaican maritime history. Also included is the history of Port Royal and its infamous inhabitants. Outside, there is a small building which now serves as a cafe or bar. Then walking around the walls and into the back, there are several other buildings damaged by the earthquake. One of those is the Giddy House. It sits half submerged at an awkward angle in the earth. It was built in 1888 as an artillery store by the British Navy. But the earthquake of 1907 left the building skewed. Right beside the Giddy House is the Victoria and Albert Battery. This structure is also partly submerged due to the earthquakes in the area. One of the most famous people who live in the fort is Admiral Horatio Nelson. Considered as Britain's all-time greatest naval hero for his victorious role in the Battle of Trafalgar. He spent 30 months in Jamaica, much of it at Fort Charles. Nelson was given charge of the fort while the island was caught in fear of a French invasion. He spent the tense period pacing and nervously scanning the horizon from what is now referred to as Nelson's quarter deck. On the inside wall of the fort, there is a plaque commanding those who tread Nelson's footprints to remember his glory. Hey guys, I hope you enjoy our tour of Fort Charles. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Till next time, bye!